Well, there we go, guys. Potatoes all harvested. There's the aftermath of digging. You can see I got all the rows down here dug uh, all along the bottom. And then I had a little row over there, two part rows over there that I hardly got anything out of. And then, not to make you too dizzy, the corn's pretty much been all gone through. And if you see up there at the head of that little piece up there, there's a pile of orange. You had really good potatoes off that one. So I ended up with uh, two five gallon pails full and a part of another one and those are pretty much an even mixture of smalls. I keep some small ones because we like baby roasted potatoes but you can only keep so many. There's some smalls, uh, about a third of them got chewed on by mice and I had lost about a third to blight. Which I'm assuming is blight, I really don't know but they're uh, if you break them open they're gone watery and, and you can see how this got a hole into it. Well that's all watery and half rotten in the middle. Uh, you can see that one there. So pretty much an equal. Now that won't be a total waste. I have a neighbor uh, that I'm helping keep a few pigs while they're away. So I'll take them over to the pigs. There's three little pigs over there that'll just have a fantastic time with those potatoes. Of course I won't feed them to them all at once. I'll give them a few a uh, handful or two every time I go to feed them in the evening and in the morning and so they'll all all do well now here's the here's the harvest it's been a funny funny potato picking day probably wasn't the best in the world but it would it would shower we would quit and then the sun would come out and we'd come back out digging a few potatoes and then it would shower and then we would quit uh, and then it would just come out, out sunny and we'd come back and we'd pick a few more potatoes and I don't like my potatoes being washed. Uh, anybody out there knows, maybe they can enlighten me on this one, but I heard a rumor somewhere that if you leave your dirt on your potatoes, pretty much any of your vegetables, it kind of tells the, the, the potato or the carrot or whatever it is that it's still in the ground and it will keep longer that way. If you think there's any truth to that, tell me. But I don't wash my potatoes. All I do is I let them dry off. So I'll pull that tarp out of the way. I planted three different varieties. I think I said before, I planted three different varieties. Uh, 10 pounds of seed of the, these are chieftains, and they are a beautiful potato. I put 10 pounds of seed of chieftains in, and I don't know how many I got there. We got to weigh over 100 pounds, so I think I got my 10 to 1 on those ones. Uh, this is the Yukon Gold over here, and I put 10 pounds of Yukon Gold in, and it was the same thing last year. The chieftains uh, double produced over the Yukon Gold, so they are definitely, I mean, there's 10 pounds of seed there and 10 pounds of seed there in that pile so you can see that it's it's at least twice as many so the Yukon Golds are a beautiful potato but they just don't produce like the chief ones do and then up on this end which I have never tried in before uh, these are Ambrosia and I really only bought them because I like the name uh, I thought it was kind of a cool name they seem like they're going to be a nice white looking potato It'll, the proof will be in the eating later. I have no idea what they're going to be like. Now those I planted uh, five pounds of seed there. So it looks like it's a fair decent producer. If it would have had ten pounds of seed, I have no doubt that it would have produced more than the Yukon Gold. So as far as a, a producer, it might not be a bad. It's kind of a flattish looking potato. You can see it. it nice size, but they're kind of a flattish looking potato uh, and we'll see how they keep and how they eat. Last year I tried Atlantic and I didn't like them one bit. They were a white potato but I didn't like them at all. So, And that's what this little pile here is. I had a few volunteers that grew in the garden from last year and we dug one hill of, uh, and they must be Atlantic, so they're the only ones they were white. I had one hill of the Yukon Gold, one hill of the Atlantics that grew just from little ones that got left in the ground and regrew again. So I'm going to get out my mesh bags once these dry off a little bit. I'll get out my mesh bags and I'll bag these up and then I'll weigh them off. And we'll see if we ended up with our 10 to 1 ratio. 
25 pounds of seed potatoes at 10 to 1 I should end up with 250 pounds of potatoes and that would just about last us through the winter I think yeah maybe not we like our potatoes so it's hard to say but it would almost do it so in a bit we'll have the way off have a great one